In this video, I am going to walk you through how to create your own email, like your own professional email. It could be support or it could be your name at you know, your domain.com. So basically what you need first and foremost is a domain. I use GoDaddy and this is important for a few reasons is one where you're using an autoresponder like GetResponse or Aweber. They typically don't like it when we use like free email programs like Gmail or Yahoo. They want us to have an email that comes from your domain from your domain name and it's something that you own. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have your domain picked out. Here's what you're going to do. So the first thing you're going to do is, as you see, this is the back office of GoDaddy here. And when you log in, you're going to see, you're going to see, okay, you're, what, I don't know how many domains you have right now. Maybe you have one, maybe you have five or something like that. But what you're going to see is you're going to see your domains. And when you click on this, it's going to say set up email and you don't want to do that because here's why this is how you can pay for the five dollars a month email is that i'm going to go ahead and click on that this is a professional email that features that you need so this is what i got right now it's 99 cents per user per month and for 12 months which is pretty good deal so usually that's what happens you can buy it super cheap and then renews at six dollars per month and that's pretty much where i'm at but you don't want to do that so i'm going to hit the back button and then we're gonna go back to the main page. All right, so here we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and until you see additional products. So there should be a tab that says additional products. Go ahead and tap on that and it'll drop down. And what here is you're going to find the email forwarding. And right now I have seven free credits because I, have again, used uh, uh, several credits already. So I'm not sure if it'll say 10 for you or anything like that, but you're going to have some credits. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on redeem. Go ahead and redeem the credit. All right, so it says email forwarding is ready. And I'm going to close that out. And then what we're going to do... It's gonna come back to the home page again and we're gonna scroll down until we see the workspace email tab right here. So I'm gonna click on that and you're gonna see email forwarding 100 pack. What you don't wanna click on anything here, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna click on after you redeem, make sure you redeem, you wanna click on manage all. So after you redeem in additional products, go ahead and come back here to workspace email, click on manage all. And then it's going to take you to this page. It looks kind of kind of goofy and it's kind of, uh, um, you know, don't freak out because what, in just a couple of clicks, you are going to have this all created. So what we're going to do is, see, I already have one already created for workshopwarriorcommunity.com. And what you're going to do is now click on this folder that says create forwarding. A little window will pop up. And what you're going to do is, this is where you're going to want to put in the word support. Or if you wanted to, like, let's just say if I decided to do Katie at workshopwarriors.com or community.com, I can certainly do that. But I'm going to do support, and then we're going to do is the at, and then I'm going to start typing, let's say, katiestage.info, right? So I'm going to do that, and it's going to pop up. Click on that. And this is, what's, this is the cool part. This is the email address that you want it to support, uh, uh, that you want it to uh, forward to. So say if I wanted to go to Katie at CatherineStage.com, this is the email that I pay $6 a month, five or $6 a month through GoDaddy. So I own this uh, per month. So it's, 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 I want everything to forward to that. And anybody who types out support at Katie Stage dot info, all of the emails are going to go to here. And it, let's just say if I have a Katie at gmail.com, right? Or Katie stage at gmail.com. When I reply as a reminder, as I reply, it's going to show up as this. Okay. It's not going to show up as this when some, when I reply to somebody's email. Um, but uh, just wanted to let you know that. Let me go ahead and put that in back in here. And then you want to make sure that it says free account forwarding with domain. Right, so you want to make sure that it is selected with that. And then here's the really cool feature is make this a catch-all account. So a lot of times 
is that for people who don't know me, my name gets spelled wrong quite often and that's okay, right? So again, it could, uh, most of the time it's probably just the autocorrect, but uh, the catch-all, what that does is that it allows anybody who misspells or maybe they put they forget a P in support, or maybe they kind of reverse some of the letters or things like that. This is where the catch-all is important because anything that they type out, it, it makes sure that it forwards to my email address. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, I don't have an enable auto reply. You can certainly do that if you'd like. Actually, I'm thinking about doing that with my other emails. But for now, I'm just going to leave that like uh, empty for sure. If you want to do that, you can certainly do that. But I'm going to go ahead and create... And then gonna refresh. And now you can see that I have a second support in my account. So that is pretty cool on how you can do that. And you're done. I mean, this is how simple it is. You're just a few clicks away and you have your own support email. And so now you can use this as your main email. So you can put this on social media, all of your capture page, your lead magnet, all your courses, anything that says contact me or uh, pretty much for people to send you an email if they have any questions. And also be sure to add this new email that you just created into your autoresponder accounts instead of your free account that you have. So make sure you put, add that in there. And again, when you reply to those emails, again, it'll show up as in, on their end, uh, your real email, what the real email account. So if it's Gmail or, or Yahoo or anything like that, it'll show up as such. But it, again, that's not a big deal. I just wanted to let you know that that will happen. So there you have it. Uh, in just a few clicks, you have your own professional free email without paying for it. Thanks and bye for now.